Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. I know you're cold, but we are warm. Covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. So we are we are invited to come and be washed and be warm by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. He died on the cross. You know, the blood of Jesus Christ is so powerful. Amen. So powerful, brothers. So we want to offer you this warm of the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, this the blood of Jesus Christ will wash your sin away. My friend, if you have a sin in your, if you're carrying a sin in your, in your life, you, only the blood of Jesus Christ can wash your sin away. Yes. Only through the blood of Jesus. So we are encouraging you, we are challenging you, my friend, because if you say to me you don't have any sin, you are a liar. Because the Bible says, for those who say who have no sin, they are a liar. So, my friend, that tells me you are a sinner. You need to be washed by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. You need to be washed. We are washed by the blood of the Lamb. We used to be sinners, but we are no longer walking sin. We walk in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. So we here, my friend, to encourage you to come and be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. The only blood that is so powerful and will not fade away, my friend. The blood of Jesus Christ will not fade away. Amen. The blood of Jesus Christ will stand strong and hold you up. And the blood of Jesus Christ will, will, will speak to you. You know, there's a there's an event in the Old Testament. There's this young man was killed. This is the first yeah, the first murder that was done in the, in the Bible. Brother against brother. Because the other brother was jealous of the other brother for the good deeds that he has done. And the evil brother killed the, the good brother. And then God spoke and he said to the bad brother, where is your brother? And the, the bad brother said, who am I? Am I a, a servant for this man? And Jesus, God says, the blood of your brother is speaking from the ground. So how much more the blood of Jesus Christ, my friend, will wash your sin away? Will wash your sin away? Even the sin of your grandparents, whatever that you, even the words of this world being spoken upon your life, the blood of Jesus Christ will wash and protect. And also, uh, let me tell you another story. It's a good story from the Bible. Pastor Paul used to tell good stories about from the Bible. I like to tell you a good story also. Amen. There's a man named Job in the Bible. God opened the door for the devil to go and attack Job. One day when the devil comes, to attack Job. He couldn't. You know, the, the devil says, I can't touch this man. And God said, why? Because you have a blood upon his life. I can't touch him. You have a, a hedge of blood upon him. I can't touch him. Take the blood down. If you take the blood down, then I can attack him. So God did. So my friend, that tells us the blood of Jesus Christ, how much more the blood of Jesus Christ protects us and covers so we here to invite you, my friend, come. You know, if you want your friend, you want your family to be protected, even this coronavirus that is moving around, you know, you can be protected by the blood of the Lamb. So this coronavirus will not touch you. Or you can jab yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, come and eat my, drink my blood and eat my body. You're saying to, so you, am I telling you to come and eat the body, the flesh? No. It is the Word of God. Come and eat the Word of God. Come and wash yourself with the Word of God. Because the Word of God is so powerful, my friend. So, if you have not given your life to Jesus, you know, we, we challenge, we ask you, come and take this time, this moment in your life to come and give your life to Jesus. What are you going to lose if you give your life to Jesus Christ? Have you received Jesus Christ into your heart? My friend, if you have not, if you die tonight, it's not God's prayer problem it's your problem because you heard the word you heard the word of jesus christ but you didn't acknowledge it to come and accept jesus christ into your heart so my friend we're here to pray for you we're here to share to you the good news come and accept jesus christ come come my friend don't be shy jesus done the take away the the pain and the shyness and all your sin all you have to do is to come and say jesus i'm a sinner i need help please help me if you don't need a help, my friend, you're lying too. We all need a help. We all need a help. Even though you got 
a million dollars in your bank, you still need help because one day you're going to die. You're going to die and your money will be still in the bank. Somebody, some, uh, some people will take your money. So my friend, come, come and accept Jesus Christ. You know, we, God loves you so much. God loves you. You are so precious to go to hell. You are so precious to go to hell, my friend. Come. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. So come and accept Jesus Christ into your heart. You got nothing to lose, but you got something to gain when you accept Jesus Christ into your heart because you're going to enter into heaven where Jesus is. So here's the message. Come, forgive us. Come to Jesus. Repent of your sin. Turn, from, turn away from your sin. Accept Jesus Christ into your heart. Don't take your sin home, my friend. Don't sleep with your sin tonight. What you have the moment, what you are breathing, the good air in you, the life, come to the cross and leave your sin at the cross. Leave your sin at the cross and go home with a free man filled with the love of God, empowered by the Holy Spirit, and pray and sleep tonight. You're going to have a good, uh, good day tomorrow. God bless you, my friend. God bless you. Amen.